Hey everybody, it's Tuesday, September 3rd, um, uh, I'm coming back with a pregnancy update for week 24 through 26. Alright, this is my um, second time I just got interrupted during this video, got a call from school for my 15 year old. So, um, I don't know, I think I was probably about five minutes into it, but <clears throat> as you can tell, I am um, sniffling and it's not good. My head is kind of stuffy. I'm trying to lie here and relax. Um, whew, tired. Let's see. Had to do some cleaning this morning because basically the girls decided to take a week off. <laughs> I say a week because they have really been slacking. And really, you know, the past couple of days, um, they really were slacking with um, chores. And, um, yeah, there's a punishment for it. But, um, you know, there are certain things that I can let go and you know dirt is something that I don't tolerate at all so um, pretty much I had to get up and sweep and mop and um, I left their room for them cleaned up the baby's room or baby's room and um, I have to go in there and organize the room because it's pretty much torn apart but um yeah, I'll do that. I have all week to do that. And I kind of let some of that go last week. I was tired. And I know one day, honestly, I dropped them off at school. I came home and made a vlog. What was it? Oh, the one about feeding the family at 10. I did that vlog after I ate. And um, it was about 9.30. I didn't wake up until about 4.30. It was time to go get kids by then, so I guess my body was just tired. But um, yeah, it's crazy. I did not realize that um, I was already seven months pregnant. Um, yeah, I knew I was pretty far along, but I just I don't keep track like that. And um, for some reason, I was thinking I was like going into six months, you know, middle of six months. I don't know. But I'm well into seven months. Um, I had a doctor's appointment on the 26th, and I didn't even realize, you know, I kept, I said the end of the month, but I didn't realize the end of the month was like a couple of days away until I got a reminder, you know, your appointment was on Monday, and I'm like, what? So, um, yeah, I don't go back until the 24th this month, and um, I'll do the glucose test. <clears throat> I have an uh, anatomy scan again, and um, then I visit with the doctor. So, time is really flying. Um, up until this point, you know, I said September is going to go by really slow because I'm really, you know, getting down to the wire for me. Um, my due date is not until December 16th, but I'm not going to make it that far. Um... Baby girl, I made it to 33, no, 36 and 3 days. And the twins were 30, 33 in a day. And I was already in the hospital at that point for about six weeks. Um, so they were like seven weeks early. Um, but I have not gone, let's see, I think 40 weeks. I was actually overdue. Yeah. Um, cause we weren't scheduled for a cesarean, and I had to, it was kind of like an emergency. Um, but that was like way in the, when I first started having kids. But, um, 30, let's see, 38 weeks, I think I have gone, and everybody else is, um, earlier than that. So I know I'm not going to make it that far. Um, but I talked to the doctor, and I asked her how far out she um, plans to let me go before she delivers me. 
she told me 39 weeks, December 10th. And I just looked at her, and guys, I was just like, okay, really. Um, I said, you know, she's a new doctor for me. Um, what happened was I had actually chose a doctor I had for my 13-year-old. Um, she delivered her, and I saw her for my first appointment, but um, they had also let me know that she was uh, moving her practice, so I wouldn't be able to see her anymore. But I went ahead and saw her that first visit, and then I had to select another doctor, and this is in the same um, group of doctors, but... Um, you know, she's a new doctor for me. She hadn't delivered any of my babies. So she didn't know my history or anything other than, you know, what I tell her. So, um, yeah, she said 39 weeks, which really surprises me because I'm a repeat cesarean. Normally, the first thing they're looking at is 38 weeks because, you know, you can't go get to that point where you go into labor. And um, as many kids as I've had, man, I could be at the at the hospital right now, you know, just pop out, ready to go, you know. But, yeah, you know, she said 39 weeks, and I just was like, I might as well stay at home and deliver this baby by myself because I am not coming here at 39 weeks. Um, I said 35 weeks. I'll be at the hospital at 35 weeks. I will have to... Um, make up a headache that won't go away or something if I'm just really feeling it because I know that's what they'll do. Um, they'll go ahead and deliver me if I come in like that. But, um, yeah, 39 weeks, wow. So she says, you know, why surprise? I said because um, I've never gone that far. And I said even with baby girl, we weren't scheduled for another week. But I had her at 36 and three days. She was not a total, total surprise, but I had a doctor's appointment that day, and my blood pressure was kind of high. And after a couple checks, um, you know, the doctor says, look, I'm going to send you next door to the hospital. They're going to monitor you for an hour. If it doesn't go down, I'm going to come and deliver you today. So at that point, I had already said, you know, we looked at each other and we're like, okay. You know, um, I did not take any bags or anything because it was just a doctor's appointment. Um, so things were kind of left, you know, disarray. We had the babies with us, and um, it was just about lunchtime for them, so it was kind of crazy. Um, the kids were at school. Nobody knew what was going on. It was my son's birthday, and um, most of all, that was the day I planned to go to the grocery store because I knew that would be the last time I would be able to go and um, everything, you know, get everything prepared. That was like my last week because, you know, the next week we were actually scheduling to deliver. Well, within three hours of that doctor appointment, I had a baby. So, um, 35 weeks, that means I have exactly 10 weeks now. And 10 weeks is like nothing. So, um, you know, once I have my next appointment, I know things are really going to fly. Um, I'm not, I'm ready now, but I'm not really baby prepared. Everything is still in storage. It is, has not gotten any cooler out here to be trying to move things, but I'm getting very antsy. And I don't want to, um, I can go and start pulling things that I need. <clears throat> of course, I would have to do that mainly by myself. I don't want to do that. But then again, I don't want to be moving anything after I have a baby. Or having to, you know, set up house after I have the baby. Um... So, uh, I, I really had intended on trying to get everything out um, this past weekend because I knew it was a three-day weekend, only had to work, so things didn't work like that. Um, hold on, just went, plans went out the door. But um, it is real, still really hot out here, and I just, I don't know what's going to happen. 
But like I said, worst case, um, I'll get up next week and I'll just start going to get the stuff that I need first for the baby and then, you know, things that I know I can carry myself. Um, you know, I'll just do it like that and then maybe um, the end of the month or the first of the month, no later than, we will um, go ahead and get everything moved out so that I'll have you know, all this time to get the house really set up. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's my biggest biggest challenge right now is I really don't have anything. Um, you know, if they became, I would be, just be totally, you know, ill-prepared. Um, let's see, yeah, car seats and storage, everything needs to be cleaned. Um, I still have diapers I need to prep, although I still I have you know a lot of them already ready. Um, they just need to be organized. That's pretty much about the only thing I can say I have. Um, clothes that I have um, from baby girl. I have a lot of newborn clothes. Surprisingly, um, I have her stuff, so that will help. But um, you know the bassinet and the crib and whatever else. Uh, bathtub, you know, I really could wing it, but um, that type of stuff, I do not have, I have not, um, I don't know, I've just been taking it easy, so, what else, um, yeah, I ideally would like to, uh, you know, December 10th would be a good time to deliver because um, you know, I'll be in the hospital for that week, and um, then the kids will be getting out of school for uh, vacation. So that would be a good time to deliver, and then um, they'll be out for a couple of weeks. <laughs> so by the time they go back, you know, everything will be back to normal. That would be perfect. Um, I was planning on having the twins like that. They were due the end of December. It didn't work like that. And I ended up in the hospital, and so I said, okay. Um, the doctor said, let's, let's, um, we can try to get you to the end of November, and uh, we'll deliver you then. And that would have been around Dad's birthday. So we're like, oh, okay, cool. Well, um, long story short, I had them seven weeks early, four days after my birthday, and uh, it was the first part of November, so out of the norm and like I said baby girl was born on my son's birthday so again out of the norm um, if we make it to 35 weeks be around Thanksgiving you know um, that'll be good um, I think 35 what somewhere around that 35 36 weeks will be dad's birthday again so you know that'll be cool uh, he gets to share his birthday that'll be quite interesting but um means we have a lot of kids born in November too. <clears throat> I think half of them. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna make it till December. And I, I or November. I actually plan for um November sixteenth because that's like a whole month ahead. So that was my my original, you know, thinking. I don't know. Well, we'll see how far, you know, how close I get. Um, I guess really bright. What else? Mm, I haven't had any real issues besides nausea. My nausea has come back, and it's not going to go away until I deliver, which is why I'm so antsy, because it's like first trimester nausea. It's bad. I went from, you know, being okay last month to this month. I'm sick three or four times a day, three or four times a week, and it's, you know, I hate that. Uh, I can eat something and get sick, and then it's like, oh, I have to eat again. I'm hungry, you know, I'm hungry, um, you know, for the rest of the day if I just keep eating and keep getting sick. So if you see my dinner vlog, that's why I try to make a very um, decent meal so that at least I have something good on my stomach and I'm getting nourished um, that way. Because usually by dinner time, everything's okay. I'm really not that sick. Um, 
But I can tell sometimes if I go to sleep, I know when I wake up the next morning, I'm going to be sick. And it happens. As soon as I get up, I'm sick. Um, so, yeah, I just, you know, I try to make sure whatever I eat is a decent amount. And I try, I'm still, I'm not overeating. I think I could eat more. I, I know I could eat more. I just don't. I don't get hungry a lot. I don't snack a lot. Um, I'm just, I eat totally healthy. And, you know, junk food for me, I don't know, would be ice cream. Um, which, you know, I could use ice cream because I don't drink milk. But mainly I eat yogurt for calcium. So, um, but what I found is sometimes I will have a um, peanut butter sandwich at night um, after dinner, and that'll just pretty much work for me, or um, peanut butter and banana sandwich, and that'll do me until the morning. Um, let's see. One thing that has surprised me is weight gain. Um, from last my last appointment to this appointment um i had on the 26th i've gained six pounds and to me that's a lot because up until that point i had already gained six pounds and um you know that's that's good for me because i've never gained that much weight um like that I want to say uh, I'm not gaining it too fast. You know, we're not concerned about diabetes or anything because I should have actually gained, way, you know, way more than that. But for me, that is good. With the twins, I gained four pounds, and that was the whole pregnancy because I was so sick. I was so sick I was on medication. I was, I couldn't even keep water down. And it, was, it wasn't until I went into the hospital and I actually had an IV and everything. That is what um, helped me. And then I had to eat um, twice. I would eat lunch twice. They would. Um, I would have lunch, and then I would get a sandwich and chips and some stuff between lunch and dinner. And we did that every day, and that's what helped. Um, with baby girl, I gained six pounds, and she was four pounds. So, um, I am doing excellent um, to have gained 12 pounds so far. And I can feel it. I can tell the difference. I'm just, I'm more sluggish this time. Um, I'm tired, but I don't feel like, I'm, it's not because I'm not eating right. I am, I'm eating right. You know, I just, it's because I'm eating so healthy is why I haven't gained more. If I have a burger sometimes, um, like I'll get a burger in the morning because, um, you know, um, I've been sick and I'm like, okay, I need something that's just going to stick on me all day. I need a little fat. I'll do that. And I don't feel like I'm cheating or anything like that because I can afford to do it. Um, other than that, in the morning I usually eat um, eggs or grits. Um, you know, stuff that's going to give me a lot of iron, protein. I'll put, um, I'll make breakfast tacos, um, with eggs. I'll add, um, sometimes I'll add potatoes, sometimes, um, not, sometimes spinach, most of the time spinach, mushrooms, peppers, um, I'll add some cheese for the, um, calcium. Because, like I said, I'm not a milk drinker. Any type of milk, um, I will not drink it. Um, let's see. So I add cheese. I'm not a real big cheese eater, but I can tolerate cheese a little more so than um, anything else. Um, <laughs> so I eat that. I'll eat, you know, if I'm really feeling bad, I'll just eat some yogurt. And then I'll have some cereal, and I eat it dry. I eat... Um, honey bunches of oats, the almond. Um, in fact, I had a bowl of that after I ate. This morning I had eggs and a couple pieces of toast and I could barely finish the toast because I felt so nauseous. 
and I thought it was going to come back up, so I had to just kind of lie here for about an hour to quell the nausea, and then I went and got a bowl of cereal, and that seemed to help. So, you know, sometimes I know if I'm hungry, but I'm feeling sick, I'll just go get that bowl of cereal, and it helps. And so, um, you know, if I'm sick, at least it's something heavy, well, semi-heavy, you know, it's grains. Um, that went down and I got something out of it before it came back up. Otherwise, I just eat fruit or I'll eat, you know, granola bar or something. Um, you know, snack on some veggie chips, popcorn, trail mix, um, stuff like that. For lunch, I'll eat like a turkey wrap or um, a hummus wrap or just some hummus and tortilla chips or... Um, I'll get some flatbread hummus. I love hummus. And I'll grill up some onions and peppers with some mushrooms. And I will put that on my flatbread with my hummus. And that's what I eat. And sometimes if I um, need a snack at night, I'll do that. Or if I just don't feel like eating dinner, you know, um, I'll go in there and make that. And I'll make one, I'll make two. You know, it's basically nothing, you know, there's no calories, but it's healthy. So that's me, you know, or some veggie burgers, you know, stuff like that. I don't tend to eat a lot. Like I said, we don't eat out. Um, Friday, we did eat out. Dad's idea to, because I hadn't eaten all day and I was sick. Um, I think I, I might have ate some breakfast or a little bit. I don't know. But, um, you know. It was around 4, and he was like, I'm getting ready to, I'm on my way home, and I'm going to go to Subway. And I said, okay. So he said, in fact, we're just going to eat Subway for dinner. So we uh, picked up sandwiches for everybody, and uh, that's what we have for dinner. We had Subway Friday night. And as I said, that's for us, that's eating out. Um... Sometimes we'll do pizza, sometimes we may go to the buffet, so, just so we get a, a nice variety of, uh, you know, food. Not to overeat, per se, but, you know, for a nice variety. Um, uh, yeah, other than that, not anything major, um, eventful in these past couple of weeks. Other than, like I said, I'm just so surprised about how fast this time has flown by to where I'm um, already seven weeks and, or seven months and a week pregnant and didn't realize it. Ooh, excuse me. Um, hmm. Let's see. I know I have. I didn't try to do Veda, but I did do pretty good, um, just because I was trying to take it easy last month, but I did pretty good with the videos and got some requests up and, um, you know, cloth diaper videos because a couple of mamas are new to diapering and they want to learn, so, um, I figured I'd just do it in a response. Um, I think they turned out pretty well although quite long. Um, I'm going to follow up with um, probably the rest of, I'm not going to say the rest of it, it's going to be totally different um, videos, but I didn't do uh, pockets and, you know, beyond once you get the hang of cough diapering, what to do. <clears throat> well, I'll probably do um, some of that. And um, again, my plan is to get my whole cloth diaper stash up and going. And, yeah, I got to do that because I pulled out all the diapers last week for the videos, and they are a mess right now, and that's driving me crazy. I got to put those back and then put the rest back that we normally use. So I am going to get on that. Um, the closet, the baby's closet, I am three-fourths of the way done. I have another thing that I need to put together, and I've had it for a couple weeks. I just started doing other things, and I didn't feel good, so I kind of stopped, but... The major part of their closet is done. The system has been working great. Um, I love it. You know, it works. And um, 
let's see, uh, October, the first weekend in October, that um, Saturday is consignment, so I'm getting ready for consignment. Sale for them. Um, what else? That's the first one. I know there are going to be more than that one consignment. But that is um, like the the one I go to um, every year. The mothers of multiple consignment. Um, what else? Um, I don't know. A couple other things I could do. Um, got a couple other plans for some videos. I just did a uh, postpartum meal planning. Video I had a couple questions on that. Um, of course, I'm gonna keep my grocery hauls. Um, like I said I'm gonna go to the store on on Friday. Um, I'm gonna try to chill out because I know if I get up and go, that's gonna set the tone. I'll just start leaving the house and just going somewhere rather than sticking here. And I, I have a lot that I need to do around here. Um, I have not even gotten this month's um, calendar chore chart done. I just, um, I think the girls started filling it in and they started doing whatever they wanted. And um, uh, I have to go check it because, <clears throat> like I said last week, they slacked. So I need to get that done. I need to get my grocery list done if I'm going to store Friday. Um, what else? Yeah, you know, uh, other than that, I, I'm not having any other issues um, other than, you know, I, I'm not going to say I'm anxious. I'm just ready because I know it's just about time. You know, time is just dragging its heels and ready to go. Um, names. That's it. I have a, oops, I almost gave it away. First name, um, still working on the middle name. So, shoot me some names. We have a Kelly Jasmine Jordan, Justice Javen, Layla, Tariq, Aliyah. Um, gosh, and, oh goodness, see, I started, and then I'll have to name all the other kids. Um, I don't know, just shoot me some names. I'll, you know, comment back if we have one, because I think somebody had already said Jasmine. Um, before, so yeah, no jasmines, <clears throat> um, even though I try to think about Yasmin, but, um, same thing, um, most likely the middle name is going to be an Arabic name, so, I mean, if you hadn't caught on, um, yeah, all the kids have Arabic names, so, that's what I'm looking for, but, um, yeah, I need a middle name, I need two middle names, actually, um, well, actually one, i take that back, I have one middle name, but I need another one, um, I can say, let's see, one of my, my thoughts, I mean, because it's just a name, I really didn't get much thought about it until, um, I don't know, I, I just remember, but Rihanna, and it had nothing to do with Rihanna, but Rihanna just happened to be an Arabic name that I liked, and I liked for the meaning, but then I thought about Rihanna, and I thought, oh, do I really, you know, want to have to go through that, so, um, you know, it wasn't my thought, just like Aaliyah, Aaliyah was not, um, although she was intended to be Aaliyah, after the singer, but um, Justice was going to be Aliyah because she was born the day after Aliyah was born. Um, and I don't know, I just I could not bring myself to use Aliyah for her. Um, it just I don't know, I just couldn't do it. And um, then Layla, I thought about Layla, but so many combinations of Layla and Aliyah have been made. We have Layla Aliyah, and um, of course from Layla Ali, so I said, okay, I'm not gonna do that. So I split up Layla and Aliyah, and I ended up with both, but um, 
with um, Holly. I think I took it over the top and kind of used all my names. Uh, so that's why I said I'm kind of running short on what I really like as far as another middle name. Um, Aliyah is... Actually, Aliyah Sana Mariah. So, you know, I was trying to hesitate because I know once it's out there, it's out there. But, um, yeah. So, I kind of, I don't know. I'm stuck on another middle name. But, yeah. I don't know. I liked Rihanna. I don't know. Maybe I'll use it. Maybe not. But, um, I'm pretty sure what I have chosen so far is what, what I'm going to stick with. Um, what else? And this video is already 30 minutes long, so I think I'm going to cut it. And I will upload this one as soon as the last one is uploaded. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, enjoy. Bye.